Scooby-Doo in Where's My Mummy came out in the year 2005 and is clearly one of the most bizarre episodes of Scooby-Doo to date, in which I want to get onto further on in this video. This Scooby-Doo movie is about the gang solving the mystery of the undead and the mummified version of Cleopatra, in which appeared after Mystery Incorporated Amelia Von Butch and Prince Karim stumbled upon the ancient tomb of Cleopatra, in which had been opened by Amelia Von Butch because she ignored what was said above the door, in which was that if anybody entered the tomb, they would be turned into stone, chased by the armies of undead, and if they dared to open the tomb, this would be their consequence. So what I liked most about this Scooby-Doo episode is that Velma was actually behind the whole thing for once, and that Mystery Incorporated actually had a hand to play in all of this. Obviously, the rest of the gang did not know that Velma was behind the whole thing, and they didn't figure out right until the very end. However, they were actually involved for once in, I don't know if they've done it before, they were actually involved within the case rather than solving the case. In which I thought was very unique and quite cool as Velma and Prince Omar was behind the whole thing as they dressed themselves in mummified versions. She, uh, Velma dressed herself in the mummified version of Cleopatra and the rec rest of the archaeologists, including Karim, dressed up as the army of the undead in which was very cool and scenarios where you didn't actually know who was behind it because normally you're like oh it's this person or it's this person whereas this time there weren't many suspects we all thought it was either the camera guy or uh, maybe even Amelia Von Butch to get closer to the treasures however that wasn't the case at all and yeah it was very cool to see and Velma and Omar were the least suspected people they could have chosen as they were turned into stone. However, it is turned out that the stone was actually props used by, by Velma and Omar to turn them away as such from suspecting it was them and to suspecting that they were anything to do with the Cleopatra because they were turned into stone. Velma and Omar did this so that they could protect the treasures and the riches from the likes of Amelia Von Butch and her gang from nicking the treasures and stealing them or even claiming that she found these artifacts and found the tomb of Cleopatra in which she would have gotten all the fame and all this whereas Velma and, and her archaeologist gang just wanted to preserve the items and keep the tomb sealed because as a sign of sort respect as, as such and that she would not be bothered about all the riches and all the treasures within Cleopatra's tomb. I also liked how they brought in the character of Armin Granger played by no other than Ron Perlman who is in such things as the likes of Hellboy, Sons of Anarchy in which I thought was kind of cool a big named actor being in this sort of role. It was a mediocre role granted he was just he was there, appeared in it, and then fucked off, basically. He was behind the, the River Nile being drained. And he didn't really have a major part in this, but he had a little storyline going on with uh, Scooby and Shaggy, in which he created this so-called prophecy that Scooby and Shaggy were actually gods coming back down. And the prophecy said that if they come down, they sort of must be killed or sacrificed to protect everyone living there sort of thing. Just a, a bullshit lie to, to protect him from admitting that he drained the river now sort of thing in which I thought was kind of cool as well uh, although I would like to point out uh, that this episode type the Egyptians ancient Egyptians and things like mummies and shit doesn't fit to my forte of theme as I prefer the likes of Witch's Ghost and Cyber Chasers they fit more my theme as they're more entertaining for me personally. So to summarise this feature film slash movie, whatever you want to call it, I think that this Scooby-Doo movie was quite bizarre as this one was around Velma being behind it all and it was very entertaining to watch. However, like I previously mentioned a few minutes ago that this isn't my theme, this isn't my sort of Scooby-Doo episode. I prefer the likes of Cyber Chase and Witches Girls and which are more up my trouser. Hence why I've rated this as 7.3 and a world-class film. So, if you agree with anything I've said in this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you disagree, also let me know in the comments. Let me know also if there's any movies you want me to review 
or even TV shows, whatever, bang them in the chat down below and hit that notification bell to be alert to all the new content this channel creates. And I will see you guys within the next video. See you guys later.